M0FXP, welcome back to my crazy shack. Every time I see myself, I think, well, why have you got all these hundreds of cables lying around? And that is because when I am programming my radios, I need to find those cables quick. I can't go into a big bag and box and uh, search through for hours. I just need to go bang, and I know where they all are, and many of them are, are labelled. Anyway, let's talk Yesu FTX1. Now, remember that Yesu are doing their best to make sure you get this anywhere in the world as fast as possible, okay? Um, they have just announced in the UK stroke Europe, or I've had a message from where I've got my Europe model from, that it's been delayed by another month. It's gonna be mid-August. Now, I, I know that that is, you know, annoying if you pay the deposit, if you paid for the radio completely. At least you'll know that by the time you get it, <laughs> If you spread the payments out or anything like that, it'll be paid for. Uh, but unfortunately, um, you know, they want to get the radio right. OK, now there has been a new firmware update for the American model. And uh, I think it's a very good update. Everything to me is working better. It was working good anyway, but I, I feel like it even it actually feels better. And fear not, this is a good device. Don't listen to the people that Yesu released it and it wasn't finished and things like that. All radios, when they are first released to the ham radio community, hobby community, yeah? Why is that going all quiet? I don't really know why it did that. But anyway, yeah, the screen faced me, went quiet. Uh, all radios, when they're released to the community, have some bugs. And there are thousands and thousands of features. And it'd be nice if every single one could be tested, but really it can't. You have to get out in the field. I'm sure they did it as well. And test, 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 test. But you're st some bugs are still going to emerge. And that's why thousands of hams tinkering, like we do, will find the bugs and then report it to Yesu. And Yesu, all they want is to make their customers happy. It's in their interest. They don't bring out radios quickly because they're being impatient. It was ready for the USA market. The bugs were reported. People are improving the bugs. Or well, Yesu are sorting out bugs and anything else. But generally, this radio actually works. And you, have you heard, they've just also announced the new SCU66 separation cable, 10 foot and 5 foot. I actually think, someone messaged me who's got a big truck, they'd like a bit longer. Um, I don't know how it works with voltage and all that, because it does, I think it would matter if you were 20 foot long. I think it may matter. You've got a DIN plug, you've got a BNC, two BNCs connecting, you've got a power supply. So I'm not really worried about the BNCs and the power supply, but the DIN plug, that's the one where if it gets a bit too long, I feel like it might affect how the radio works. Ultimately, you're adding this antenna tuner, and as it does turn into... Oh, look, I'm getting that message again where the screen's going to dim. don't really know why it keeps doing that. I need to change the settings. I'm using this gadget to film this video called the Insta360 Flow. I can sort of pick it up and move it around, and it sort of tracks me. You definitely don't want to see what a mess my shack is. Uh, because it's so small and that's it but don't worry just because it's small doesn't mean I don't uh, have great fun in this shack so thanks for watching bear with the ASU everyone's gonna get these and when they do they're gonna become this is gonna be one of the best sellers I know it's a massive hit to the wallet it is yeah you know there's no getting away from this but it's two radios in one I haven't even got an antenna connected at the moment listen to this if I turn the right knob I could hear it <laughs> Oh, that's, there you go. That's because the node is in my room. Speak. Yeah, it's uh, 4.43 a.m. Uh, on Sunday morning. And, and that's uh, because... Uh, no antenna, battery, 6,000 amp battery. I don't know what you were laughing about that. My node is so near me, it's picking it up. <laughs> this guy's in Australia. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, because the node box is connected to the internet, you connect to the internet, being in Australia is, is that good? And that's, that's, you know, that's op optics for you. So, thanks for watching. Please bear, bear, bear with Yesu. We will, and everyone will get their European models uh, as soon as it's, as soon as, it, as soon as they can. You're talking thousands of radios. Bye for now. All the best.